So just looking at the standing, so there's three people on eight and three. So we just saw uh, Dave Wiegand win his game. He's currently leading the spread of 1188. We have Evans Clinchy, who we're watching right now, 547 spread. And we also have Brian Bowman, who's in third place with a 516 spread. All three of those are eight and three. We have five players on seven and four, which include Conrad. So we're still all to play for with three games to go. So we're about to start the game now. Okay. Conrad with a slightly tricky rack here. Something like Yuko or Yauk, maybe. Not really seeing much else. I don't think he has any five letter words. I believe Evans is looking for an R, but uh, not going to get one. Okay, looks like Conrad's playing Yuko. So maybe something like Pox underneath. For Evans. <laughs> you go take it in. <laughs> Isn't that a car brand? <laughs> Using my knowledge of American stuff around here. So yeah, I think in pro uh, Pox, making up Co and Ox is probably the best play here. What about Moxa? Um, <laughs> WTF saying it's, uh, it's an SUV. <laughs> but no, it doesn't take an N. Uh, I think Yuko just takes an S. Uh, Evans has an Oxlip uh, lined up which would play underneath the KO of Yuko. Does open the triple, so it's a bit dangerous. Wonder if he's gonna opt for something a little bit more defensive. And it uh, looks like I'm back. So I had some audio oh, issues everywhere, hey but hi Austin, thanks for joining hey. us. Um, and yes, here. looks like Evan says some interesting choices. Unfortunately did not get that R. So he'll have to make a non-bingo play. Yeah, I think he's got a number of options here. Uh, I personally still think that Pox is best. Um, he does have Oxlip, as you can see now. And Moxa picks a slightly worse than Pox. It looks like he's going for Pox, which is the, yeah, I think Pox, the best play here. Yeah, that looks best. Oxlip, uh, definitely much worse than the pure equity would suggest because it gives back the big uh, hotspot. Um, but I guess I, not a very likely tile. I mean, if your opponent has a Q, it could hurt really bad, but Pox is certainly fine here. And Conrad going to play probably Vov over Vox pretty quick, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, I think it's either that. I mean, anything that I think that gets rid of both of these. So even something like Vivo or Vivo, if he wants to get rid of something 
some other Viva's tiles. interesting, yeah, because he has the T. So maybe he'll opt for he'll opt for that if he thinks. Um, I, oh, it doesn't open the triple. So actually, he, oh, Vivo also nice. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. So any of those, yeah, anything that gets rid of the two Vs are going to be pretty good here. And yeah, Vivo. For Vivo. And that's nice because that does not take an S. Um, so that it keeps it nice and defensive, uh, fitting with Conrad's style. So the players are talking to each other. <laughs> what do you think Evans yeah, yeah. is saying? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's. Uh, I'm not really quite sure what he's saying. <laughs> Something about how unfriendly that play is. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Um, here, honestly, I. I would you play like Vox? Well, Voxel is interesting. I don't know if you want to play it. Um, I don't know. Something like Mel under Vivo. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Mel's an interesting one. I mean, it obviously takes the. Biggest scoring spot, but you keep three vowels, which is never too good on a four tile leave. Yeah, um, maybe. I, think I like mm. Voxel though. Voxel looks pretty good. Voxel, yeah, that's. It's actually, yeah, you, now that I look at it, not bad. Yeah, I think if you're trying to open up, um, well, trying to unduplicate your tiles and you have a good leave, I think it's good to open up another space in the board to potentially bingo from. And I think Voxel does, the, does a very good job of that. I think it's very likely yeah. that your opponent will probably play to the triple if if there's really not that much else on. Uh, just take the easy points, but I think Voxel kind of keeps the board open for some kind of counter counter play. Yeah, I guess if you if you're you definitely don't want um, like just sticks and maybe bingo in order to put it. So if Voxel does that, I mean you risk. Um, if your opponent has an S, that would be a huge opening, but. Um, you gotta play for the most likely scenarios and for what you know you have. And oh, the VL looks like is simming top. Hmm. Um, also, looks not bad. Yeah, it keeps MA, so it's not a not the best, but not the worst leave in the world. Okay, he's yeah, he took EL to the end of the rack, so I think he's at least considering it. Or, oh, you know, maybe he's forming Mel, M-E-L, under Vivo. Oh, maybe so, yeah. That could be another one. Yeah, I think, but I do still think that Mel would be a bit of a mistake if you played that. It's definitely not as good as Voxel. Especially considering Conrad's response uh, and Conrad being the player he is. After a play like Mel, um, I definitely expect to see some either something under Mel or something over Yuko, or, you know, keeping it uh, something. Yeah, something that doesn't open up too dramatically, and then, you know, if if you draw like even two more vowels, it's it's really not a good spot. You're looking at maybe even exchanging, um, considering your rack and the board. Yeah, I mean, any sort of uh, well, it looks like he's grabbing El here. But yeah, if he wants to get two wheels of bingo, he needs to have a place to play it. And Voxel gives a, gives another spot for it. And with the remaining five tiles that he would have, it would really wouldn't go anywhere on the board if uh, Conrad plays to that triple, through that O. So I think he does need to carve out some kind of second opening here. But Evans clearly is uh, considering all the players that he has available. Oh, a new tile. Okay. He's going with alive. Alive. Interesting. Okay. I guess opting for a more open board, but I don't know. The leaf certainly isn't as strong. Yeah. I mean, I just don't know necessarily know where he will potentially bingo with E L M. He needs something good out the bag here. Okay, nice, nice uh, synergistic tiles on Evan's rack, but uh, not seeing a bingo just yet. He 
So what would, uh, what would Conrad's response be here? If I were him, I'd probably be looking to get rid of like F-A, F-A-N-D, play fan somewhere perhaps. He has the F-Y spot. I don't, he, I don't think he can cash it uh, that well here, but it's available. Um, yeah, he's got, yeah, I think if you, well, he could play something like Daft. Oh, da Daft. Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, uh, oh, that's, that's a good, I was thinking also Fenny, F-E-N-E. -E. Um, oh, wait, no, excuse me. N-I is not a word. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. That's the first thing I saw too. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's not good. So yeah, Daft, Daft looks decent, but I'd be really cautious about keeping the two ends. Um, looking hard to try and get rid of at least one of them if possible. So, wow, okay. Uh, Sim is saying just drop F-O-N or F-O-N-D. Hmm. Which looks decent. Well, I guess the thing is, a lot of the time with this Sim, the, uh, the opposing computer player will play much more open than a human player would, and it gives a spot for the bingos you draw into with those tiles. So um, I do think they're strong plays, F-O-N, F-O-N-D, but not as, maybe not as strong as, as, a, as a sim would suggest. But he, I mean, here they look pretty decent. Um, yeah, I don't mind Fond, actually. Um, does get rid of the tiles you don't want. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind fanned either. I think what you, you must have, uh, I think you stayed that earlier above the YU of Yuko. Also not bad, but again, this might not, uh, fall in line with Conrad's MO in terms of opening up the board too much. Yeah. I think, uh, Conrad would probably be more likely to make a play like fawn or fond. Um, and okay. It looks like. He's doing okay. Putting the D, I I like I like putting the D there too. Um, scoring a few more points. Um, I mean, I guess you're giving up an A and a U hook there under Fawn, but those those aren't really going anywhere. Yeah, you're definitely not going to score much underneath that unless you have a, a Z or something. But I wouldn't worry about that whatsoever. But Conrad looks like you're still considering. Okay, he's gonna play his move now. So it's on the board. And Evans. Hmm, yeah, I don't this is this is tough. Like, is this knowing when to exactly to like blow it open with some some maybe some play ending in M, making M Y. Um I don't I mean, I don't really think the situation calls for that yet. If you can score D somewhat decently, keep it somewhat still closed, I would try and do that. But yeah, I think you can play something like chime um, to the left of a live. It might open the treble, but maybe that's maybe it's time to open something up. Yeah, and that, that might score decently enough to uh, to warrant um, it. Maybe. To, yeah. I think Mish is a word, right? <laughs> uh, uh, spell that. Um, M i c h e. Yep. I I that. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's not a word, right? Mish only takes t i. I think. Uh, let's see. Now, um, no, 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 you're right. I it takes ET. Oh. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Chai yeah, and Mish, they're up there. Yeah. Yep. And oof, unfortunately, uh, on Conrad's rack, his the bingos that the eights that it makes just, just don't fit Taconite and Thionite. Um, unfortunately, don't go down if if those are chosen. I've just been playing Chi here, Che. Make sure open now. Ooh, okay. It's uh, very open. Yeah, very attacking move here. <laughs> Getting, making that E and A hook available. And um, O. And O, yeah. Yep. Wow. He's going for it. So yeah, Conrad really close to being able to hit that hard, but not quite. Um, he's going to have to fish off something a t and probably the o somewhere it looks like or maybe yeah. 
maybe he wants to kill that spot now so Evans can't use it because I don't honestly, where else on the board are you going to score? Yeah, that's true. There's really not much available otherwise. Um, I think, yeah, it's something like TO making HAO just to kill like really high scoring, you know, power tile plays, probably still leaving some bingos available, but something like that I'd consider. Yeah, he doesn't really have really any high scoring opportunities here. So maybe just either just containing that top right corner um, is going to be something that he want to do. Uh, any sort of higher scoring tiles, uh, any higher scoring moves would actually blow up his rack. So maybe he doesn't want to do that. Mm. But yeah, what are you thinking? I mean, my my first thought is TO making HAO. Um, is there something you can play on top of Oach that would be worth it? I, I don't think so. Um, I'm thinking Tau above Yuko again. TAO. Ooh, I mean, okay. That's uh, that's just something that I would play. I would not necessarily be, but I'm not necessarily renowned for my defensiveness. So I'm <laughs> I'm more likely and, to just try and go yeah, for look at, myself. Look at that. Yeah, that's it looks like it's the top of the sim. And then okay, so oh TO there. Interesting. So I guess TO making HAO is not um not scoring enough in a lot of these cases. Yeah, I think playing Tau that also makes it easier to bingo above Yuko and Tau. I mean, above, wherever you would play Tau above Yuko, it would be easier to bingo above that um, as well. So I think that is a relatively, I mean, it's kind of an attacking play, but I think you need to try and not necessarily be too, um, too defensive uh, and too paranoid or anything like that. I think you just have to try and go for your bingo. I mean, he's Conrad is very, it's not that far away from one, so he should try and get one, I think. Yep, that's uh, those are good points. And I I know, at least for me, it's a somewhat educational moment. Uh, sometimes my paranoid and defensive instincts uh, take over a little too much. Um, and uh, as the sim sort of confirms, yeah, TO making HAO a little, little too paranoid there. And yep, he goes with it. He goes with the top simming play. Austin's choice, TAO. Looks good. And is Evans going to do something on top of, yeah, M-A... Male. Male. Oh, this is uh, interesting. Was there was there a way he could have burned the two M's? I, uh, I don't see anything. Is, is That's not a Mamie is not a... Oh, Mamie, Mamie is a word. Mamie is good. <laughs> Mamie. Yeah, Mamie is definitely by far better here. Any sort of... You can get burned real, real hard here with, uh, with playing the I above the double letter score. Any sort of big scoring four letter play in the top right will will burn you will burn you pretty badly. Um, also, mail also has a bunch of hooks at the end of it, so yeah, it gives away a lot of gives away a lot of points. Um, but I I don't think Conrad's going to be able to use any of those with his bingo here or oh Nate, uh, yep, yep Nate that'll be that'll that'll fit right atop quite nicely. Ooh. Ooh, Evans has drawn a very interesting rack. Um, so Conrad's bingo's there. He has a Tizian. Uh, Nate's definitely best spot. So Evans Clinchy definitely with the with the interesting rack here. Um, Squirmily, is that a eight? That's possible. I mean, not on this board. It looks like, but or is that no? That's too many. Uh, that's, that's, that's nine letters, I think. That's nine letters, and also not a word. But hey, at least I'm having fun. All good. So Conrad put the end down, but then took it back off. And you oh, know, Jal yeah. give, giving us the, the the on the ground commentary. He just said, <laughs> "Is this a word?" So he's not sure of the word. It seems. I'm sure that if he knew that was a word, he would have played it by now. There's, there's really no other option here. I mean, you can play Etesian, um below Pox with making Upo and Con, or above Tau opening up the triple, but um, if he's not sure, then maybe he'll play it somewhere else. Oh, interesting, you would play it down there. Wow. And not Upa and Khan. This is an aggressive play. Opening two triples, I guess his logic is, if my opponent hits one, I'll hit the other? Or is he sort really? of, he's taking it off, maybe he's joking about that. 
He, he would give away the A for McQuillas as well. Oh, wow. But would you even want to play McQuillas? Would you just play Kin, Quins to the, uh, to the N and keep the blank? Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah. the Q would actually be, be tripled here. Oh, it, it would be tripled played, yeah. there. Wow. It would be, okay. yeah. Etesian. The Q would be tripled, so that would be... Ooh, that would be close, I almost think. 90, yeah, almost 90, yeah. Oh, if it's almost 90, maybe not. And Kins is for, if it were like 69. So that's, ooh, that would, that's quite close. close. I yeah. put the blank at around 25-ish points, depending on your other tiles. Um, but we, I, I guess we we don't run into that interesting decision as we see it's easy in Iki Upa and Khan. Hmm. So I guess since that's not a possibility, I'm, I'm not seeing any bingos for Evans. Maybe he just plays Quinn, Quim on top of male. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty strong move. I think uh, that looks quite decent, unless there's a, a bingo that I'm missing. So the McQuillas is one of the eights in this rack and also Qualmish. And Ooh. clickism. Clickism. Wow. <laughs> I, I I had to look those up on Zizaba. Just oh, I'm not full sure disclosure. I, that one. <laughs> I, I did not. I I did not see these at all. <laughs> those are some tough finds. Um, and it looks like Conrad has well, if it stays available, drawn another bingo right out the bag. I think there's a good yeah. chance Evans will see Quim on top of Mail, and then Conrad will get to play in chores. Yeah, it looks looks likely. I think Quim is really the, the star play here. I wonder what else he has. Maybe he could play. I mean, another interesting idea is to play Souk and Fondue, uh, opening up the triple and a blank. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, it has in, uh, um, as soon as that Conrad just played seven tiles, um, obviously not. Too likely that he has an S or the other blank, but he, as we can see, he does. Um, this is just another way if he would like to, um, if Evans would like to open up two potential triples um, to hit big in the next turn. I think Suk is 41, but Quim I think is still definitely best. I don't think I would sacrifice 10 points and uh, well, a worse leave also yeah. um, in this situation. Maybe if the scores were a bit different, maybe, mm -hmm. but um, I don't think it's warranted here. And the, and the tough part about that is that uh, that setup uh, sort of forces you to cash the blank, use or use the blank as an S. Um, if you had an S blank, it may be more flexible, but yeah, Quim looks the best and Conrad spotting, um, obviously, what I believe is, uh, I believe his only bingo is an ooh, Evan says some really cool, interesting Ooh. tiles, like stuff like cosplaying Calypso, Sin Copal can fit through the end too. Um, oh, nice. Not sure what else would be available here. I'm sure there's other cool stuff in this, this rack. Yeah, Sin Kobo looks like the good play here, like the best one. Um, yeah, that that's I, I'm not seeing any other uh, bingos at the moment. Um, I mean, another another potential play is to play okay, pace. Cool. So that's the only yeah. So those are the two tops. Sin Kobo's only bingo, but then pays is the next best equity play. But they're actually really close um, in terms of equity. I think if Evan sees both, he'll have to sort of pause for a second. Think, think about which one he'd want to play because um, they're quite close. Yeah, I mean, um, I think for me personally, I might actually play pays. I think you can actually, I know that it needs to be uh, simulated, as you can see right now. It's very close. Um, and there is a 32 point difference. But however, you probably might give away more than average. Um, with a 32 point difference on this board because anything above male will probably score 40 points or so. If you have, if Conrad has plays bent or something on top on, on top of it, 
it probably be around 40 points. Um, and I think that might be worth blocking. Um, and you do keep the blank as well. So it's not all that bad. CL blank is actually very good, um, a very good leave. And pace might be, I don't know, I think, I think it's definitely very close. And so I wouldn't say that playing pace is a mistake over Sink Hopal. I think what would, what would worry me the most about pays is um, where my bingos would go down in the future. So after I play pays, um, if I mean, unless Conrad opens up something on row eight to the R, um, I, I might have a tough time. I guess you, you have the, the I and the N and inshores, but um, I think I'd be more inclined to make pays on a slightly more open board where um, I think my my bingo chances are slightly more apparent, but I mean, the SIM is saying it's quite close. So um, it's, you're, you know, you're winning for some reason if it's not a bingo. Yeah, I think you're right there. I mean, there's definitely very, well, not very few, but there are still, there are very limited options on the board to play any sort of bingo. Um, yeah, the, you got the said, you said you got the I, N and the T of intros there. Um, you even have the second E of Etesian. There's a space there as well. And anything about, below con or even to the right of fond there's also spaces there so um but yeah i mean the, i think the most obvious place that conrad will might play otherwise might be through that second arvin tross um and that might open another lane so it's it, they're all not going to get blocked but it's definitely possible um that you could still find something on the board but you can't wait too long but it does look right. like evans is going to play sync opal here so it's very good spot <laughs> If I were to guess, I'd say Evans probably saw that relatively quickly and was deciding between this and Pays because um, they are really, they're quite close. Um, but I think this is a perfectly reasonable option. I don't think either would be a mistake. And it looks like Conrad is challenging. Yeah, they're looking it up on Evans' phone. And it is a five-point penalty per word for this tournament, right? Yep. Yeah, this is five-point challenge. And uh, uh, Jalapik won in chat confirming that it uh, was, in fact, challenged. So, which makes Conrad's best play hmm, at something like sub-rent, though. I, I don't know. I'd prefer to get rid of the two U's. Hmm. And this is, yeah, this is tough. I mean, Conrad can play on top of mail, but I, that's like Bent's. I, I don't think it's going to be his best play considering the leave. Yeah, I mean, he could play something like Brute maybe in Mela. Or maybe that's, that would... yeah, maybe that would be slightly preferred to kill that dangerous spot. Because um, I think at this point, oh, Brunette. Um, actually, yeah, yeah that looks that's... very decent, yeah. Depending on what's unseen, so what's if, if depending on what's unseen from Conrad's perspective, um, male is quite possibly a lot more dangerous than than the S. Well, maybe well, you have the other blank out, so maybe you have to worry about triple triples. But well, no, Evans has a completely random rack. Um, yeah, this, I don't think there's any way you can really be paranoid about nine timers at this stage. Um, as you said, Evans just picked up seven random tiles it could really be of anything um but i think there's a good chance that he would play in the top right corner if it stayed open so i think something like brute um or brunette would actually be really good here yeah also oh, i should i should note the score conrad is um uh actually down here so um yeah she definitely shouldn't be worried about potential triple triples by his opponent Yeah, brute, uh, brunette, uh, brute or brunette look really good here. Um, if you don't play at the top right, I, I guess, yeah, I'm not even really sure what you would do at the top left. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more you, the top right looks good, and it looks like he has at least brute formed on his rack. 
Yeah, I wonder if he's going to play. Well, he's got Brut separated there, so I don't know if he's considering that, or maybe Brut, or he, maybe he has seen Brunette. I think he is considering all three of those players currently, and looking at what's in the what's in the bag. And so if uh, that, that will likely be taken. Uh, Evan's response is almost certainly going to be playing through the S. Um, I think I'd like something like uh, reshoot would be pretty nice. Just getting oh, rid yes. of a bunch of tiles, scoring some points, killing a spot. Though, would you want to keep your D for con? I don't know if that's. I don't know if it's worth it. Um. I mean, you can also have it for end as well on the right side. Uh, oh, that's, that's a good sort of point. Fun. So the D is actually worth maybe slightly more on this board than usual. Um, of course, mail, uh, the D is, is valuable for mail also at this current stage with mailed. So the D is actually worth quite a lot. Um, so from Conrad's point of view, I think there are six unseen E's. So I think he's going to play. I think he would probably be better off playing one of the E's. But yeah, it does look like he's not really sure what to play here. But it looks like he's well, going to go for Brunette, which I think is the best play. I Yeah, this looks like the best play to me too. Um, whether he's unsure or not, yeah, I, I think this is... Uh... Perfectly reasonable. And yeah, I'll be interested to see what um, Evans chooses here because he has a lot of really similar plays to the S, which I mean, I can't imagine he would play anywhere else on this board. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering like, is he going to choose to keep the D? Is he going to cash it in? Because um, there's lots of really similar plays. Like he could do something like horsey, I guess, keeping ED if he wanted maybe a very strong leave with the D. But yep, he can also play hoist as well. H-O-I-S-E-D. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not bad. Keeping R-E also very strong. Or, you know, if he wants to score the most possible points, I think that's reshoed. Um, yep. So, and all of those seem reasonable. Um, I, I, I at first glance, I wouldn't really know which one would be best in this position. So I think he also could play something like Horde, H-O-I-D-E, -I -I um, on the second R of Entros. That's an option. Oh, that's, that's, um, a, that's another option, yeah. And another possible option is to play Ho, H-O-E, below the Opa Sync Hopal, which actually would incidentally block Conrad's play of Was, W-U-Z, above it. Oh, wow. So Ho actually would be a, a pretty strong play. I mean, unbeknownst to Evans right now. And Waz is really the only place that Conrad can play that for any sort of real real decent score. So it could have a double whammy effect here if he does play Ho below Syncopal. It looks like he has it. He has at least formed on his rack. And now he's formed another word, hide. Not sure where that goes. Maybe, um, yeah, I don't know where that goes either. Hmm. Okay, so S H O. So should is he going to put R E in front of that? Okay, no, opting to keep the R E. Hmm. It's an interesting play there. I think he's definitely got more defensive mind here. He could have played Horde, as we said, with the same tiles, but it looks like he must have tried and block both of those triples. So Horde mm. would actually still keep that S open to the triple in the top left. So if that was your objective, and it looks like Conrad's play here is um, pretty pretty obvious, as uh, Austin has spotted out was on top of Syncopal. But if, if you were in that mindset for Evans, defensive mindset, would you want to uh, keep the RE or just play off the RE and reshoot? I think I'd opt to probably play it for six, May, uh, I guess. Uh, I'd be really close, depending on what's in the bag. Yeah, it yeah again, it depends on what's in the bag. Um, keeping IER actually isn't too bad, uh, but keeping an I just by itself isn't that great. 
Um, I'm not really quite sure what value there is with keeping the RE at this stage. Um, so I can make cases for both. Um, but with shoot now played, um, there really isn't that many spaces open for any sort of bingo. So it, it could just come down to who can outrun who at this stage. Yep. And uh, oh, uh, WTF in chat noting uh, the only uh, three letter extension for shoot, gum shoot. And is that available with these tiles or the M's? Uh, so you'd have to yeah, use the blank, yeah. I think, because both M's are gone. And uh, Conrad, uh, close to uh, will be gone here if there were an open O. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which, which would be cool. But, um, yeah, interesting. He with was he kept, um, I think, N O G E or something. Yeah. So he actually, mm -hmm. could, yeah. Like, yeah. So he actually had Nog underneath. Um, was an open anyway as a as a backup so he had a he had a ready-made play underneath underneath was as well for his next move which looks like it's still gonna probably play wow okay and oh cool extension here as we see on the analysis board top equity play or i guess top simming play of brunette just adding te to brunette there which Ooh, nice. i guess is the by far the most you can score on this board yeah, especially with the tile that he has, um, 30 points is going to go a long way. Yeah, and uh, the, I mean, the leave isn't amazing, but um, for 30 points, it's 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 uh, it's reasonable. It's, you know, it could be worse. D-E-I-I-R. Um, how many I's are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think there's only one I left in the bag. Yeah, but if if not brunette, oh, and it looks like he has spotted it. That's awesome. Cool extension. Good to see stuff like that. I know I don't always uh, look for look for plays like that, even if even if I know the eight or the extension. I, sometimes I'll just miss that stuff because I'm not even looking for it. Oh wow. Okay, and Evans has picked up the other blank. Ooh. Yeah, now that keeping that D now um, for Con and the D hook there actually come coming out really useful here. Yeah, that'll be, and that'll be a really good spot to play because not only is it not open anything up, but Con only takes the O, uh, I believe. Yep. And if Conrad ends up playing off his O, um, hooking that is going to be how many O's are left? Um, one, two, three, four. Five. So I think there might be two O's left in the bag, maybe, but that becomes really hard to hook. Looks like now is formed on the rack. Where would he be considering that play? Uh, I don't see anywhere. Right. Yeah. Speaking, there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Knock. Being I'm careful not to. Play, yeah. Being being careful not to play. Uh, wait. Yeah. Not to play wog, uh, which is no longer a word. Um, that would be uh, by far the strongest here. So it looks like, play, yeah, yeah. What is yeah. his best play? Uh, for Evans here or for Conrad last turn? Uh, for, for Evans. Uh, I see Ditzier. Um, Unfortunately, it doesn't fit quite underneath Etesian. It makes Coney. Oh, I was, I was thinking um, making Con to K O N D. Does that yeah, fit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. If it it's, it's just that. Oh, is there is there something fits. better? Your, no, this year almost fits under there, but it doesn't quite. Oh, okay, so he's yeah. gonna opt for diorite. Okay, okay, seems reasonable. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It may be something. Uh, with yeah, tidiers. 
uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Almost fits under con, but not quite. That would be quite a double double. Uh, Noah SL forty four pointing out in chat. Beware. Looks like the strongest play here, and um, I'd have to agree. Getting rid of yeah. the B and the W and scoring great. And just wondering if maybe direct was not the best bingo to play or not, keeping the E uh, in that spot. As we said about yeah, maybe, Dipsy, uh, maybe the maybe mm. keeping the blank as a Z even might be better. Might be Ooh, more yeah. difficult to use. That's a good point. I, yeah, I think I probably maybe like that a little more. Maybe he was worried about uh, triple doubles. Um, but what are are there any what dangerous power tiles are left here? Um, the um, Q Z the, J or I think the, J the J is, is out. out. Yeah. Could he could he have been worried about maybe tripling the J and doubling the word? Um, for um, a vowel. I thought, yeah, I thought that diorite would definitely give more shot at, at doing that than something like Ditsia. Hmm. So yeah, just very small margins uh, in terms of finding the right bingo to play there could make a big difference. And it actually now puts Conrad back ahead again. Wow. Yeah, even after the bingo, Conrad is, yeah, he's up by 11. And Evan's probably looking to bingo again soon. Um, these are one of those agonizing plays where I want to just, you know, let me fish off in peace, but no, I have to find some opening for me to make as well because the board is not very friendly for bingos at this point. I guess to the R and the E are your, your best shots here probably. Yeah, I mean, and we're also talking about playing as Conrad here, so I think that it's very likely that he's going to try and block that. I mean, he has he also has Jayla to go there, so that's going to be a big, wow. okay. big spot. Yep. And I, I think it's likely that if I were Evans, I'd be trying to maybe some like open up a sevens line on, on the other side of the board somehow. I don't know if that's plausible, if the equity sacrifice be reasonable, but I'd want to keep those spots open and that would uh, work out really well for Conrad here with Jailer. Yeah. I mean, maybe Evans is thinking of playing something like tag on the T of the Tizian. Yeah. That's what I was looking at too. I mean, <laughs> It looks really, it looks, I guess, yeah. sad for, for, no, for no better word, but I mean, the leave is incredible. So your odds of bingo going are quite high. But then again, he's only 11 behind. So he would, he might almost be putting all the text in one basket if he plays something like tag, or maybe he can try and uh, score well. Okay. Well, so it looks win. like James is a uh, run. I think what would be the uh, the championship wow. player, which will attempt to do the end game exhaustively with two in the back. And it's saying his best shots are just, I believe was fishing off an A, which wins, I think that was one sixth really? of the time. I think. Um, wow. If the analysis board uh, comes back up, we'll take a closer look. But yeah, it looked like the uh, the, the two best options there are T making TA, and then where does AG play? B6. Eight? Sorry, B6. Or an ego, yeah. Okay, just playing off AG, trying to score as many points. Um, wow, TA. Yeah, I mean, that, that sets up the J as well, if you pick that up. Okay, so that's really... And Quackle's saying that wins one-sixth of the time. So there's there's like a very specific set of tiles that he would, he would have to draw to win. So let's see. Yeah, I think also TA also doesn't empty the bag. That too. It would... It would um, it would then that's, that's yeah against yeah. yeah against a human opponent plays like that are going to be much stronger okay so he plays oh. it there um which quackle is saying never oh does he think so i actually don't know what his plan is here does he think that khan takes an s because I, I i i the plate doesn't make a lot of sense i think you really need to open something up because conrad is going to block the lines to be where and after that it's going to be really difficult yeah i was wondering what 15 just said uh he needed to hope for an e or an i for degrease or disagree on the e of beware um you're not really picking up many you're not really having many tiles to hope for here um so maybe you do need to carve out some kind of opening on the left side of the board 
Yeah, I think because Conrad's gonna Conrad's gonna take his time. I think he's gonna see that Jailer will lose in certain scenarios to dog ears as an out or you know, whatever is available in the bag. So I think it's much more likely he'll just make some parallel play making JA um if that's possible. Yeah, I think um, JA is the play here. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's no yeah, there's no real need to or any point in risking any sort of counter bingo outplay with playing Jayla and Doggers will play underneath um underneath Jayla, I think. Yeah, so I think and I think this is one of the uh one of the problems with fishing off the AT there. Um after JA, there's really there's nothing available. Um and okay, we're being told that there's one in the bag and it's a G. Hmm. But yeah, that's that's why I was thinking, does does Evans think that Khan takes an S? Because if it does, then that play of A makes a little more sense. Um, but if but if he knows it doesn't, then I'm not um I'm not quite sure because even if he does draw into disagree and be Greece, as Wander 15 has pointed out, uh, Conrad is going to block that spot pretty much, or not pretty much, every time, um, unless he thinks he needs to block something through the E and it's easy. In. But yeah, I mean, another alternative playing TA would be playing TEA as well for two extra points, but it doesn't make yep. it as easy to go underneath it. Um, TA definitely like almost plays with every tile that. Uh, almost every tile that Evans has. Uh, but Jailer Whoa. is coming down now. Wow, Jailer is coming down. And I think this is, yeah, this is going to lose um, yeah. to dog ears. Wow, yeah, this is really is that, yeah. interesting. Do they so, maybe yeah, do but, they both think Khan takes an S? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure both these players probably know that. I mean, I would expect them both to know that it doesn't take an S. Um, but from... Conrad's point of view, there's two Gs I'm seeing. So the, the the likelihood is that one of the Gs is probably still in the bag. That's the greatest uh, possibility. So I'm sure Conrad would know that Dog is, is definitely a much higher possibility and it fits underneath Jailer. So that's mm. the it's a surprising play that he would um he would play this. Um JA um, um next to Beware doesn't really give anything away. And with what's in the in the in the pool. Um, he's not going to score anything with whatever eight tiles that he has. JA is going to score 30 odd points. Uh, he'll go about 35 ahead and he will be able to outrun Evans pretty much every single time. Oh, okay. So he, he didn't, he didn't actually hit his clock there and he's taken it off the board. Wow. Um, so I guess one thing that we don't see here is the time situation. And that, that could be another factor. Um, oh wow, uh, Jalapik one giving us uh, the on the on the site commentary, he was about to hit his clock and he stopped himself. Wow, yeah, it would be interesting to know how much time they have left. And Muffin with Tentacle saying he's been keeping track of the time, Conrad has <laughs> two minutes left, Evans, five minutes. So yeah, time definitely another factor. Um, Are there even any nines that go to that E of beware from Conrad's point of view? Uh, any oh uh, any nines? I mean I, I mean sorry any eight any any eight letter words that go to the E of beware from his from his point of view? I yeah. So there's another it's dog ears plus G. Yeah, and then uh, there's an E there, so. Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe he doesn't have to, maybe he didn't even have to block there at all. Oh, wow. he hit the okay, clock. So, so Jailer oh, comes look down. At Evans. <laughs> look at Evans, he knows. He knows. And he has dog ears. And he comes down instantly. And that, sh yep, that should and be the Conrad, game. Yeah, Conrad is ruining that. Yeah, I think JA was the play there. There's really no need to get greedy, in fact, with seeing all those points on the board 58 points i mean even if you get 30 odd points with ja i think you would still win uh, and wow, so what an i'm wondering if yeah from conrad's point of view or plays in the bottom right even could he have just played off from his perspective 
I mean, I think that's like Conrad just put just just showing uh, on the stream that he could have played J. I think he was obviously thinking about that too. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that that was a big mistake. Hmm. And that's and it's it, those can be really tough decisions, especially when time is running down and um, sometimes easy for us to say, you know. Uh, what the best play is if we, because we know exactly what's in the bag, um, but it might be a lot harder. Uh, you know, maybe Conrad is worried about other bingos there, or play to yeah, the RD, sure. though I, I didn't yeah. see any, but. Yeah, definitely a difficult, uh, difficult decision to make, uh, especially when you're playing on the stream also, you can, you know that everyone's watching uh, and your moves may be scrutinized online. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was a tough decision. Uh, I think that if Conrad played a bit more safely, um, which is not what he normally does, he would have, I think he would know that JA would be the move to make. And I think, yeah, he's, I, I, he again pointed out, uh, he gestured to the board with, uh, on two spots there. So we can hear what's going on on the, on the board right now. But yeah, it looks like we're getting a bit of, uh, some more conversations here. over the board. Yeah, and also quite crucially is is that Conrad was training by a game before before this round, and he's now two games behind Evans and potentially other players also, which probably kills off his chances of winning this tournament. So I'm I'm, I'm really curious, and this if um, if either player thought that Con took an S, um, that would be interesting to find out. I think it would maybe explain. Yeah, I wonder if uh, James, who's who's there on site, can ask whether or not they thought Con takes an S or not. Yeah, very interesting with that um, fishing off that A. I mean, you're so close in score. Um, Evans couldn't score much anyway with what he had, and maybe just going all in with playing TA was the move um, as well. Uh, you just don't really have much op option, and just having to worry about a second spot on the board may may have uh, necessarily been necessarily must have been the correct move, but it would have been a very interesting interesting play if that was on the board. Okay, so uh, James saying Conrad knew for sure Cons was phony. Evans was going to try in desperation uh, if he had to. So for sure, it, it seems like both players knew they pretty much knew um that Khan did not take an s um yeah i, I would expect players of uh, their quality to know that um i think they would have only played it if it's like a last ditch scenario yeah so ta is i think um it's it's the sort of situation where the first first you have to recognize that you can't win without a bingo and then after if you do that, if you manage to do that, you have to figure out the best fish. So there's really sort of two parts the way I see it to that play. And um, I think not having the J in Evan's situation there uh, yeah. really sort of sort of seals the deal for for needing or answers the question for whether you need a bingo or not in the affirmative. Without the J there, uh, you're just getting outrun pretty much every time. Yeah, I mean that if you if, if Conrad plays that J there, then you're almost certain to lose as well. Yeah. So it's definitely an all-in situation with playing TA. And it, maybe it would have been the right move if he was um maybe 30 or 40 behind, for example. But with the score so close, um, it's definitely not clear cut whatsoever. Wow, okay. So I'm I'm now just realizing TA is makes it's even harder to play because of the J out. I mean, a lot of the times your opponent just hits you with, with Taj. I actually don't. Exactly. I'm, now I'm really curious what, if it's one and six, is that what, what, what tile you need and um, for that to, for that to work out one six of the time. I, I, I mean, I guess it's a bingo uh, to the R E, but. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's very difficult to to work out um, in this in this situation. I guess both players don't have all that much time either. 
But yeah, with the J unseen and putting TA there, that would be, I mean, it's a disaster waiting to happen, really. But it could also pay off hugely um, if everything turned out right. And even just a blocking play of just putting the J there would um, on Taj that gives that gives a uh, that would give Conrad a good twenty odd point lead going into the end game, uh, let alone any other tile that he might have. Um, and that would have been that would have been probably enough to win. Uh, it would have yeah. given him the opportunity to actually just play that. So yeah, it was a tough situation for sure, and definitely TA was not um, getting clear cut. Yeah, and yeah, I'll I, I might have to go back and look at the game and figure out exactly which tiles you need a draw and how it would play out. Cause um, even seeing that analysis board uh, it's, it's not, it's not at all obvious to me that the path or the, the few paths to victory you would have after that. 